Okay, let's take a look at this kit first. And it is the Notes of Cheer card kit. And I think this is something that uh, Mia could, might help with. But let's take a look at what's inside. So you have the photos of the finished cards on the front. Look at those butterflies. Mia is loving butterflies right now. And so I'm just going to cut open carefully the cello wrap. And everything is contained inside. Now the box is great because you can keep it to store your cards in. And it's also a good gift wrapping box. So, And I'll show you in a minute how to uh, break that box down to store it flat. Okay, so we have some beautiful iridescent rhinestones. Some little Stampin' Dimensionals. Some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Here are the envelopes that coordinate with the different cards. And then here are the card bases. Look at these butterflies. Okay, so let's see. There are three of those. And then this ombre look card base, three of those. And then this is one of the overlays, okay, for the... I think it's for this one here. And then we have this white, looks like. Um, and then we have some of the little uh, adhesive dots to put it together. And if you'll notice, there are no stamps in this particular kit. This is one anybody can do, put it together with very minimal supplies. And you have your sentiments or your words that can be punched out they're already die cut you even have them in the different languages okay because stampin up is a global company and um, available many parts of the world here are some other die cuts and look at this i love this scalloped little overlay okay so we are going to work to put these together and maybe I can get some help. Okay, before we get started, I wanna just show you that you have uh, directions with pictures and the parts you need for each card to assemble. It even shows you where to apply the dimensional adhesive. Of course, you know, you can put it together as you wish and design these as you like. You don't have to do it exactly like this, but this sure is helpful. This even shows you how many little of the gems to use on there. See, there's two of the larger ones, three of the smaller ones. Here's this card here with that beautiful scallop overlay, a little note of cheer. So these are cards you could use for anything. Okay, so that is the directions. There are directions there, and I wanted to show you how to break down this box. So this is a very uh, plain, Stampin' Up! box. I love them because you can use them for so many things. Storage, I wrapped a lot of Christmas gifts in them this past year. But you can also take it from these sides. Okay. And fold it flat. And store it. Like that. Okay. So flat storage is always good, right? And then if you want to wrap the gift or mail a package without the stamping up on the front. You can just turn this around and assemble it like this. Let me pull it up. Pull up these two tabs. And then you would do the same here. It's kind of awkward because I don't have a lot of space. <laughs> And you fold that down, and then that locks in place. Okay, that little tab lock there. And it's giving me a hard time because I didn't fold the... There we go. And then let's fold these in and down. And look at there. Okay, great little box for mailing or storing things in or wrapping up as a gift. All right, let's get started. 
Okay, so Mia is here helping me today. We're gonna make a card from this Notes of Cheer card kit. Mia, do you want to see which one do you wanna make first, okay? Which one? That one, and a little Note of Cheer. What are you gonna do with that card? You're gonna give it to someone? Mm -hmm. Who are you gonna give it to? Dream Lucky Dad's my friend. Your friend, oh, that'll be great. Let's, let's get started here. I'm gonna put this here so we'll know what we need, so we can make reference to it, okay? And we'll know how to put it together, all right? All right, so right here, what color is that strip there across there? What color is that? Right here. Right here. Right here? Right here, what color is that? Blue. All right, so we need that blue strip, and it says a little note of cheer, can you, this is the one you need, the blue strip. Can you punch that out for me? Okay. So Mia told me yesterday that she wanted to make a card for her really good friend, June. So I showed her this kit and she thought this would be great. Okay, so we have that. Can you set that aside? And so, as I mentioned earlier, there are no, there's no stamping in this kit. All of the sentiments and pictures and everything is ready to go. So right now, I know that we need a white card base. So I am going through the box right here, and we're gonna find it. And then Mia, I'm gonna have you Fold that and give it a good crease with the bone folder. Okay, good job. Okay, so looking at this picture, we know that is the card up and down like this or is it like this? This. Okay, like that. So that's called a landscape style card. Okay, and we see we have these little scallops that we have to put on here first. All right, mm -hmm. so let's find that. So, okay, we have envelopes, we have other card bases, and where's that little, here it is. All right, so let's get one of these out. And so, as I mentioned earlier, we have these little dots, glue dots that we can use, but sometimes for tiny hands, these are a little difficult to use. So Mia, how about we use a little dot of glue? So just any glue would work. And like I said, this kit is great for kids. So let me show you how this is gonna go. You see how it is there? Yeah. It's gonna go in the center. So we want to put a little dot of glue on each corner, okay? Just a little dot. Okay, don't squeeze too hard. I'm trying. Okay, let me see if I can help you out. Let's get this underneath. I'm gonna get my silicone sheet, my mat, and put it underneath to protect the work surface. And, oh, honey put too much, didn't she? Yeah. Okay, now you try to get, I think, see how that glues on the tip? Just dot it on that end. Okay, and let's put one on this corner. This one? Mm-hmm. And let's move this, and then again right there. Let's get this out of the way. Now, put your glue bottle down. Okay, and so this is going to go right in the center. Can you place that, please, for me? Good job. Okay, so where you put your glue on those four corners. So I'm pressing on this. Can you press on those two ends? Okay, so we've got that ready to go. Now, let's look at our picture again. We have another little strip right here too. Let me see what um, that says. And we, have... and we have that. So you know what? We need another one. It's so tiny, I almost missed it. Right here, a little note of cheer. Um, I'm here for you today and always. So let's go ahead and do that one. Hold it over here so they can see. Okay, so let's look at the picture. Do you see how that's a little bit under that blue strip? Yeah. All right, 
let's take this and I'm going to put a little glue right here. A little bit come out right there in the center. And then we're going to take this and put it down. Can you press down there for me? Okay. Let's see if that worked. Oop, let's pull it out a little bit. Okay, so we want those words to show, okay? Just like that. But why do you have glue on your hands? Well, that happens sometimes when we're working, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now this is going to go here, correct? Correct. All right. So let's go ahead, and this is going to use some of these little dimensionals. Mia, you want to put these on here? Mm -hmm. Can you put about four of them on? Because mm -hmm. I'm four, too. Because you're four, and but you're getting ready to be five, right? Mm -hmm. Almost. When's your birthday? July 3rd. July 3rd. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mia's just putting some mini... Stampin' Dimensionals that come uh, in the kit. It's trying to stick to me. It is. That's okay. It's funny, right? It's funny, yeah. I got two on you. Okay. Let's go ahead and put one down over here. Okay. Think that's good? I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's good. That's fine. Yep, you know you got to take those little papers off. Trash can. Trash can, right. Ah. Ah, here's one. Okay. Trash can. Trash can. Yeah. Trash can. Mm -hmm. One more trash can. Trash can. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Stuck to your finger? Okay. So let's see if you can turn that over and put that on the front there, right across the center. So pr give it a good press. And there's your card. Now it needs some sparkle, right? Yes. All right. I can do it. You want to op open that up? Okay, this hole, it's going to slide up. Hold it over here so you can in the light. There you go. If you stick your, that's, that's like a little envelope. So if you stick your oh, hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to use this little picker tool to. Okay, so we're just. Get, the big, okay, you can put the big ones. ones. I just sit out oh, I know. Okay. Ready? Okay, so now she I'm just going to let her put those. Let's put five of them, okay? One. So I want them scattered out. Five. Two. Two. I, I thought that was five. Three. Mm -hmm. In the middle. Don't. Four. So you see, when you let little ones put together a kit like this, it lets them uh, explore their creativity and, you know, do what's pleasing to their eye. So, okay, how many do you have? Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, so now here is the envelope. What you're going to do, you can, we can write a little note to June in there. And then here is the coordinating envelope that we'll put together. Okay, Mia, do you want to try another card? A butterfly mm -hmm. card, maybe? Okay, this one, we'll put this aside. And I know you liked the butterfly card because you wanted to keep it. Mia loves butterflies. Yes, and even rainbows. And rainbows. And unicorns. And please. unicorns. Okay, so let's take this, and I want you to fold it in half. And then use your bone folder right there on that little bitty fold. Where's my bone folder? Oh. Oh. It's right here. 
See, it's just a little bitty fold. Okay, so this one is going to say, you make it life brighter. So what color is that? Pink. So, I don't know. I so it's that it. top one on that pink. Wait, I think you got more than one. Oh, sorry. So that's all right. Get the top one off the pink. Just gently, gently get it out of there. Do it in the light. There you go. Okay, good job. So now, let's see what we're going to put on the back of that. So it's going to need, oh, three of these. And you're going to, let me show you. You're going to put it across here. So you don't want them on the end. You want them in the middle, three of the dimensionals, okay? So I need three. You need three, that's right. And I got two this time. <laughs> They're stuck together, huh? Ow. All right, one. Oh, paper came. Two. Can I get the paper off? Because I can't. You could. You just want to take a little time, save a little time, okay. All right, there's three. Save that one for another project. So now, this is going to go right across the center. Can you put that on there for me? All right, and now let's look at where the little, you see how they have the little sparkles scattered? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see how many you need. Let me see. Right here, look, one, two, Three, four, five. So you need to use some little ones too so you don't run out of the big ones. Okay? So just get. Here, you want to use that or no? Yeah. Um, can I do this one now? Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. Watch. How just many? however. Five. That's two. Ow. Can I do three. You notice she's par partial to these big rhinestones here. Four, you need one more. Five, beautiful. And there, that card is ready to go. Okay? okay. All right, shall we try this one? Oh yeah. All right. So we need this rainbow looking card base. Get up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Get on your knees. Okay, so do you see where you need to fold this in half? All right, fold in half. And use your bone folder. Do it again. Okay, so this is going to need this big overlay there. We're gonna put that on first. So you're gonna use these dimensionals. Do I need a lot? You need one on each corner. So how many would that be? Well, not on there. Not on there. Oh. Wait, just a minute. Let me find your pieces. I got two. Okay, but you're going to need one on each corner. On what? On this piece that I'm going to get out of here. That's, here we go. This one with the cutout butterflies. So you need one on each corner. So that's, let's count. One. Wait, let, wait let's put it down. One, one, two, two. That was a funny sound. I know, two. It's, it's like. Where, where else do you need one if you need one in each corner? Three, four. Okay. But why are butterflies all upside down? Well, they're not going to be when we put them on the card front. Okay. So I want you to turn it over, and you put that right in the center. Okay, remember your your where the dimensionals are, that's where you need to press. There you go. Okay, good job. So now let's look at the picture again. And we have this little, what color is that? Green. Is it's it? my new favorite color, but that's not my, like, my, not my, um... Your most favorite? Yeah. 
But this one's better. Okay, so that's the green one you need. Do it in the light, please. Why is it in the light? Because we so we can see it better. Come on. Oh, we, oh you know what? We probably have two there. Yeah. Wait, let's see. No, it's just one. Okay, so now we need a dimensional here and a dimensional there. Oh yeah, it is two. You trying to get the little okay, let's see what you're doing. Okay, she's trying to there hold it in the light. Where you can see your hands here. There you go. Hold it down here. There we go. So she's doing the little uh the little die cuts that are in there, the little circles, so it's a yeah. little Yeah. So so you can see your little things. So you can see the little things, yes. Do you need to poke them out with a little pokey thing? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Don't poke yourself. There you go. Come on. Get out. Get out. Push through. Okay. Yeah. It's that. It's All right. That. Is there some, are there some on the other side? Yeah, you got them. Okay, we need dimensionals. It's going to go over here on this side. Well, Put one here and one here, and it's going to go over here. One here. Mm-hmm. And one. Oh. <laughs> I got three. Get off, get off. All right. One here. One here. Okay, let me get the paper off. Let's get this back over here. I need to fix my desk. Okay. Okay, so I've got a dimensional stuck to my fingernail, Mia. Why? Look at it. Well, because it likes to stick. Okay, Mia, this is going to go over here on this side right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. On the end? Yes. Okay, use both. There you go. Okay, good job. Let's look at the three cards that Mia's made. We've got that one with the, how many butterflies are on there? One, two, three. Three butterflies. And then we have the one big butterfly. And then we. And it's bigger than this one. It is. And then we have the little note of cheer. And let's find the envelopes that we need for the other two. Hold it under the light, baby. Okay, so here is a pink envelope. Which card does the pink envelope go with? This one. All right. Can you match that up? Okay, and then we've got the blue one. What do we need for the three butterflies? Which color? Green. Okay, find a green. Okay, so you can yeah. always also use this as a teaching and reinforcement of early yes. learning skills. And uh, kids really enjoy doing this. Do you like putting together cards, Mia? Good job. Good job. Okay, thank you, Mia, for helping. And uh, we'll be back in just a little bit. Thanks, Mia. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so now that we've worked on that uh, Notes of Cheer kit with Mia, this is the first time I'm opening this magnet board kit. I am so excited. I have about four of these uh, that I may put together as gifts or just put one in different places. So this is a great box uh, that holds 12 by 12 items. And so you could use this to store your 12 by 12 designer paper, okay? I think that would be a great idea. So here we go. I've got it upside down. Let me flip it. And it's a little large, so I'm hoping I can get it all in the screen. It's moving my camera. Sorry about that. All right. Here we go. And here is the magnet board. Okay, so I'm work with that after I put together some of my pieces. So I'm going to save this box, put it down below. Put the magnet board aside. I don't think I need that yet. So, let me see. Okay, let's see what all we have to work with. So, you know, there are so many uses for this particular project. And I think I may use this one for a prayer intentions board for people that I've 
uh, promise to pray for them or for a special intention and, you know, have little cards that I can write and clip up on the board. We'll see. I just know that uh, I think it'll make, do a great, great job for something like that. Okay, so here are our little pockets. There are two of those, as I see right here. This has, just like our other kits, all of the instructions are inside this little pamphlet. And it shows you how to put the pockets together. And then you have lots of options for different stickers to decorate. So probably too many options for me. I don't know if I'll be able to make up my mind. So we have some tear in tape that we're gonna use for our adhesive. These are our clips. I love these little mag little magnets on the back of each of those. Okay. So let me open this up. And we have a ton of these little cards that can be used for lists. And like I said, I think I'm gonna put my prayer intentions on these. Just really pretty. Oh, look at all this. I think there are 24 cards. Let me look and see. So, curious to know if any of you have put this kit together because it is awesome. Magnet board. Okay, so I probably have to count, but I think they're like 24. Uh, Sarah, our CEO of Stampin' Up! put one of these together and she was showing all these different cards with all these options. Decisions, decisions. Let's put those aside. Here are our um, stickers in our different languages. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way. That looks like it's German. Here's this for English speaking. Okay. This one looks like it's French. So I'm gonna move that one. Oh, and look at those pretty die cuts, and they're all self-adhesive, okay? So, let's see. Seems like I might be missing something. Nope, that's it. So, okay, just trying to see what all we have here to put this together. And then here is our our two pieces of designer paper. And so I've got to decide what I'm gonna use for my background. And I think I'm gonna use this black, okay? And then this one you can say for another project, you have this pink ombre, and then this check or plaid, and then this, uh, it looks like mint macaron ombre, okay? So let me see, coordinating colors. Black, Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mint Macaron, and Smoky Slate. Okay, so I'm gonna put this sheet aside and I'm gonna work on top of this board here, this chipboard. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is assemble the pockets and let's decide what side we want outward. Oh, goodness. I, I think I may use these neutral colors uh, and, and, and use accents of the other, okay? I just, I think I'm gonna go that route, maybe. I might like this pink. Yeah, I think I might do this. Okay, so I'm gonna take these. I know I'm gonna use this side outward, okay? So I'm bending, bending, bending. It's like an accordion fold. And then I'm gonna give it a good crease with a bone folder. And go this way, and this way, and this way. And like that, okay? Then I'm gonna come up and give that a good crease. So that's pretty awesome there. Okay, so 
I think instead of trying to follow all of the directions for decorating, I'm just going to decide myself. Maybe just take some cues from that. But what I'm going to do now is put adhesive using this tear and tape on the right side of these little accordion fold pockets. So this, you just tear it off. So simple. Fit on this side and tear it off. Okay. And that's gonna go, goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and rip these off. I'm just kind of double checking myself on the directions, although I think I could just look at the pictures and assemble it, but you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, so now I'm gonna do these for these pockets. I'm gonna kind of just eyeball those where they're gonna go. So this one, I'm gonna use the black and white, I think. Gosh, am I gonna be sorry I did the black and white? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm going to do it. So, like I said, I have a, a at least two or three other of these kits that I can use for however or even give them as gifts. So, what are some of the ways you might would use this kit? Anyone have any ideas? Uh, you know, you can use it for a memo board. A family message board you know put their schedule up so-and-so has baseball practice today so-and-so has dance class today because I know from experience that keeping up with schedules can be quite daunting when your kids are involved so okay here we go let me go ahead and put this on And then here. Okay. Now, I may wish that I had decorated these before I put them together, but we're going to go for it. Okay. So now let me go ahead and fold this up. Press it down. And just give it a good crease with a bone folder. So cute. Look at that, those scallop tops. So cute. Okay, so now let's see. Let's get some. Um, hmm. It is so hard to decide, but I think I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with some of these flowers, these florals over here on this side. So, let me choose a, um, hmm, I could put remember this, I could put celebrate today, okay? You can see, because I have so many choices, I'm having a hard time but I'm gonna go with this and then use some, because we can all, I think I'm gonna use that and grateful on the pink one because prayers of gratitude are so important. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly by the seat of my pants here. I think I'm gonna put a uh, pretty butterfly. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go with the same color. Let's do this. Okay. And then let's get some leaves in there. Let's see. This is so fun, y'all. I'm going to do this down here. Bring in some color. And I'm going to try to lift, whoops, lift that just a tad. Carefully lift and 
slide that under and then I can do this one over here that how's that looking pretty good and then I'm going to put uh, a little heart let's go with this dark pink melon mambo heart right here and I think I'm gonna leave that as it is I had thought I'd put a butterfly but let's see I can always put it back on there if it's too much okay I think I'm gonna leave that and go with maybe butterflies on my other one okay so now let's look at the pink pocket and on this one I'm going to put I really like this happiness is in the journey. But I think I'm gonna go with grateful. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna do here. I am going to get butterflies on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my butterflies first so I know how much room I have. Okay, let me get the grateful. Probably should have put the grateful first, but let's see how I lifted that up easily. Grateful. And then Let's do that. Okay, I like that. And then I can put some flowers. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. And then maybe take a little heart and put it over here. And another gray heart and put it down here okay so we have other other adhesive stickers that we can put elsewhere and then i think i'm going to take this afterthought pull that up go along the bottom here Y'all tell, like it's flying by the seat of my pants, huh? It's like, okay, Lisa, what are you doing? <laughs> but this is, you know, part of the creative process, you know. And if you are careful, you can lift up with your die-cut adhesive stickers. Okay, there we go. And on this one, I want to put this zigzag edge. These colors are really pretty together. I like the black and white and the smoky slate with the, the pinks. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so now, hmm, let me think. I'm just gonna kind of play around with it. So I know that I'm going to have to put it in my magnet board before I you know put it put it together but this th these clips are going to hold this on okay and then I can use clips for other things too so let me go ahead and do that okay so here we go uh, let's get our magnet board it's very lightweight. It's 12 by 12, so it could even be used in the future if you want to change out. You could use it to frame a, a scrap, 12 by 12 scrapbooking page. So I'm taking the cellophane off, the plastic wrap off, and Okay, I didn't watch the whole assembly of this, so I'm kind of 
just going with it, y'all. So I'm going to pick this up, these little tabs with my scissors, or you can use a ruler, or the bone folder was even working, or your fingers. Those are some strong little brads. Okay, I'm pushing up the bottom one, and now I'm going to do these two on the side. Okay. So now let's take this out. This is the magnet board. Push it from the front. And this has a plastic coating over it. So you can take it off or leave it on there. I think I'm gonna take mine off because if I know me, I might be switching out. So, I don't know. Should I leave it on there? I'm gonna leave it on for now. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. Here, like this. And slip it in. So I've got my designer paper. Let me make sure I get that in without bending it. My designer paper in. And you see it's got that good I know there's a name for this, but I'm not I'm not good on hooks, picture hangers. Okay, so I've got to get it in the frame where it lays there like that. Then I'm gonna put my magnetic sheet, and I chose to leave that plastic on it just because that part doesn't show, and I'm sure the magnet will hold through there. So I'm pushing it down to get all of the little brads up. This one needed a little help. Okay, so now I can take these and push down. Push down. Now, if your designer paper, which you could use any 12 by 12, has directionality, you would want to double check and make sure it's the right side up. But here I have this lovely black and white speckled dot. So here we go. And so, at the time of this recording is June of 2022 when I believe this kit should still be available. You know, these are while supplies last. And during this month of June, I have a friend who has a son, Carlos, uh, who was diagnosed with anaplastic large cell lymphoma in February, and he has been in Texas Children's Hospital and his mother with him since then. And I wanted to help the family and at the same time uh, incorporate crafting into the help. And... Um, because his mother is a former uh, Stampin' Up! team member of mine and a lovely and very talented lady. And I am donating the proceeds from sales this month from Stampin' that I earned this month from Stampin' Up! to Carlos, my friend Alicia, and their family to help them out. So um, I thought this would be a great month to do it with these kits and that how everybody can... Um, Relate and look, I forgot about this whole this whole sheet of stickers, which is okay. I can use it on something else. <laughs> but look, you, I could have put this behind the grateful, but it's okay. I'm leaving it. I'm happy. All right. So anyway, uh, now I'm going to go through these cards and let's look at them. Here's a floral with list and then a calendar. Okay, if you need it for a calendar, and there are two of those. And then this one with a list and then just a, a decorative piece, which I could use those stickers on. Two of those. Here's another calendar and then a list. Great for my prayer intentions. Here, another list. And look, just a decorative piece. Oh, yeah. See, I'm seeing all kind of use for those stickers I didn't use. List. And a, a 
could also be list, two of those, and then a landscape list. Lots of scored lines, y'all. Okay, so a grid sheet, grids on the back of that. Here's a numbered list, two of these with that mint macaron. Another two, another two. And you know, if you run out of these lists, you could make your own by just cutting cardstock and decorating with either stamps or your leftover stickers, and it would be great. There's another list, and then there's a floral with a grid, okay? So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list here. Okay, so let me get another. You get six of these, okay? So I'm gonna put this here. Oh, I love it. Can you see all of that? Okay, and then how about if I take a, a decorative one? I really don't want to use all my list ones, but I could use one of them. Let me find something pink. Oh no, this one. Love that one. That's a list, but mm, no, it's too much like that. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Kind of change it up. That's okay like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my extra cards. All right. And I'm going to put those, divide them in my grateful and my celebrate today. Okay. This I'm going to decorate. So, let me see. Still not sure which one I want to use. Maybe that one. Okay, we'll do that. This is fun, y'all, to do this. It's so easy and such a great little kit. Okay, let me see. So many decisions. use a little banner up here. And I'll put this here to bring in some of the pink. Um, and then here we have this on my mind. On top of that little banner I think I'm gonna stagger it a little bit okay and then I am going to use the Dream and I'm going to put some flowers on here. So let me see what I want to do. I think I want to use some of these smaller ones. Let's get some leaves in here. need to remind me to put the leaves first, huh? <laughs> I'm going to leave that. And then down here, I'm going to put 
the leaves first. And then on this, they're going to be my prayer intentions. And let me find my pen. And I'm just going to write. Healing for Carlos and strength for his family. And then I'm going to put healing and strength for dad. Okay, there we go. So here, um, I'm gonna hold this up and make sure that those magnets are holding. Okay, that's sliding a little bit, so you know what I'm gonna do? And I think that's what it was intended, is to use two magnets on, the, on these to strengthen it, okay? and make it hold. There we go. Two here. Two like that. Okay. There is our board. And of course you could embellish this as you want. You could add stickers. On this I'm gonna keep mine plain all right and focus on the prayers you see how with my handwriting how it just really stands out okay and this just could be a little inspirational card could be changed out you could even cut a piece of cardstock if you needed to okay all right well thank you so much for being here for this little kit together uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed my special guest this evening, Mia, and um, I hope to be back next week, and please let me know if I can help you with anything, and I will talk to you again soon. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com. Be sure you sign up for my mailing list so you can get all the information from me in your weekly emails and more project ideas. So take care, God bless you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.